Welcome back to another video on Elite Zach Essentials. My name's Edward. The YouTube streets need me, so that's why I'm back. So, what we're doing today is we're reacting to Patrick Cloud, giant purple-ish squirrel discovered, dis discovered Pat Geo. So if you don't know who Patrick Cloud is, he's a comedian. He's in my last video that I'm going to post, uh, my last video, he... He's in that, like, he works with Kev on stage, Keon Pole, and that, like, Doughboy, CT, so that, like, that group of comedians right there. And, yeah, he's a pretty, I like what he does, because he does stuff like this. He has a picture or a video. He gives his commentary. So that's what we're going to do. We have our commentary. Let's go. This one, this one's a lot. Okay, right. let me see. Guys, uh, giant purple squirrels have just appeared in southern India. Mm. And I, I mean, I, I couldn't make this up. At this point, God is just reading Dr. Seuss books for ideas. Just like, hey, give me, give me, what was that, Horton, here's a who. We're five years away from seeing a wild Lorax and like a wild Sam I Am at this point. Giant flying purple squirrels, pretty interesting. Uh, they're circulating the internet. internet. You know what? I want to say one thing. I like that color. I like the purple back it has, and then it kind of has a blue tail and tan belly and face. I like that. But I wonder, how are they created, like, not how, well, yeah, how are they created? How do you do, how do nature breed these natural, these colors for these, I said, like, how are the colors like this? And what purpose does it serve in nature? Because they are really beautiful. But some, but sometimes, like in nature, when you have the peacock, because the male peacock is so beautiful, he always try to get the allure of the female peacock. But that also makes him a target. So I wonder, what is the squirrel's predators and the purpose for these colors? But look, but yes, but this creation is very beautiful. I appreciate it, and I like it. Let's keep going. It's having a crazy time. They, they actually don't look like this, though. This is yeah. enhanced. They're actually closer looking to this, which is cooler. Um, oh. But I wanted to bring that up because it's just like, you, you can't you can't give the internet anything. We, we actually got yeah. purple giant squirrels, and somebody on the internet was still like, I'm going to lie to these people. <laughs> Lies. I'm going to enhance the purple for the clicks. And that's true. It does. But the enhanced version does look better, but that's a lie. And so, I don't know. It's just like, it looks better than the real, than in reality. That's That must be what happens sometimes. That happens sometimes, but I gotta live in reality, man. You gotta live in reality. Um, one could argue that I just did the same thing to you guys, but... You did. You clickbait me. What do you, what really, this what is you all clickbait. You're already watching. I just got clickbaited. You just tricked me into watching something that could be real. It is real, but you just made it look good. You just sold me a dream. Stop telling me dreams. I need to deal with this reality, man. I don't want to say man. Yet. I'm not from the south. I'm from the north. Do the truth. So, but yeah, I these like, things were just found in southern India, and I do like southern rappers like Pimp C and Bum B. I, no one really knows why they're purple. They're the closest thing to a pur naturally purple mammal that we have. And, you know, I guess there, people are saying that it could be some type of camouflage that's specific to the forest that it lives okay. in. Uh, it's actually just very interesting. One other thing that they do is they do not store their nuts and their food underground like normal squirrels. They, they be having, like, weapons caches on the top of the trees, and that's where they store all of their stuff. They, they're more of an attic uh, having squirrel than the basement squirrels. Okay. They're also gigantic. Mm. Apparently there's like a, a, a family that has a bunch of other giant squirrel classes in it, and they just be jumping from tree to tree, just all huge and stuff. Huge and purple. These are designer squirrels. You know, <laughs> Gucci, Balenciaga squirrels. Mm. So, you know, I like these if you look outside, squirrels. you just see the regular old brown bushy tail squirrel. You broke. <laughs> you... <laughs> Oh man, we're broken. We only see the brown squirrels. Neither do well, man. We gotta go to India. We gotta look at. We gotta find these designer squirrels 
and bring them back to the states and see how it changes the ecosystem and what effects it will have. Probably be that one episode of The Simpsons where I think, who was this? Bart? I think it was Bart. He brought a frog to Australia and since they don't, a frog didn't have no natural predators like in Australia. It kept multiplying, took over Australia. Partly that's a cartoon, but how would that throw off the ecosystem in America? And they don't know what the colors is for. Maybe it's camouflage, but what predator are they hiding from that involves purple and like bluish color? That's something a chameleon would do. Let me see if there's any more of this video left. Bro, shout out to South India. Yep. No, 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 surprise! Yep. South India is the place to be, man. It's the place to be if you want these designer squirrels. If you only have regular squirrels, I don't know what you're doing. You gotta boss up your life. Me too. I need to boss up my life. We're gonna boss up together. Be the best versions of ourselves. Change our mentality. Like, we gotta stop thinking low. We gotta think higher. We gotta think bigger. We gotta stop thinking local. We gotta think global. Okay. Thank you. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Have a good day. Think global, baby. Think global.